at OCOM we also get a um, that's um, <laughs> we get training in massage, either shiatsu or twina, um, and we we do some clinic with that. Um, the the affordable uh, medicine that we offer at our clinic is acupuncture, massage. We also do some of the group um, community style um, for a, a little bit lesser cost. Um, at the Ocom Clinic, it's twenty two dollars and. Um, you can also do an herbal consultation, either within that and pay extra for the herbs, or um, OCOM does offer a group herbal consult for just $5. You can come in and um, the students will get an idea of what, what's going on with you and then prescribe an herbal pres um, prescription. And um, so herbs will come in different forms we do what's called bulk herbs, um, and there are hundreds, if not thousands, of herbs. We study about 200 or so herbs at OCOM, and so you can do what's called the, the bulk, which is the what you see right here, or we do offer them in different forms. There are patent granules. I have some bottles that are back on the table. or um, the granules are just dissolvable in water, um, and they those are quite easy to, to take because you just boil water and um, add in your, it's kind of like mixing Kool-Aid or something. It doesn't taste anything like that. <laughs> um, and then um, bulk herbs, you'll throw in a pot and boil for, for quite a while. Um, and then in, in addition to the acupuncture, we also learn about other techniques. Um, one is cupping. You spoke about the cupping. Um, and this is just, it's often used on the back, but it can be used in many different places. Um, and we'll actually use a flame underneath the cup and set it on the skin, and it'll take the skin up into the cup, and it's drawing blood and chi to the area so that it's warming and it, it can be really good for um, if you're beginning to get a cold or some kind of um, some kind of what we call exterior invasion and it can help to release and um, and get things moving so that your body will expel it um, and then moxa is another method that we use to warm the channels because again it's it's the idea of movement within the body the chi and the blood and so we'll do something like a smokeless moxa pool and just hold it over a point or we may go along a channel and it warms and warming brings movement and then there's the, the direct moxa which is um, it's a this is also an herb it's mugwort and it's prepared in a certain way and we can use it do little rice cones or you can make a pyramid and place it on the point and and burn it and it'll warm that area up so um, and then this is used to extinguish the direct moxa um, and then in, in the course of um, the education that I'm receiving at my school, um, we start out by learning those points and then we learn the massage. Um, we go deeper into the theory by the second year and then we're learning needling techniques. And by the third year, if you're in the third year, there are, there's a three year and a four year program. Um, typically, if you're, if you're in the three year program, then you're gonna go and be an intern and do a lot of practice on the general public. And those are the appointments that, that we offer at our school. Um, and for your students, do it in four years and they're a lot, um, probably more sane <laughs> than us three years. Um, and I think that that is it. So do you have any questions? 
are you still doing the different locations like Hollywood? Yeah, yeah, there's a Hollywood clinic. Um, so the, those that, that's the main clinic at Hollywood, I'm sorry, not Hollywood, but our school, which is located out by Mall 205. That's our main clinic and then the Hollywood clinic. And then the interns also work at um, places like Outside In or Hooper or throughout the city. Are, are those clinics that are out, like an outside in Hollywood, are, are those um, students that run those clinics? No, they're, um, they are run by people that have set up those clinics themselves, but who are offering internships. So oh, we can okay. sign up as interns to work there and gain experience with other experienced and licensed acupuncturists. Are you t still technically in school when you're an intern? Yes. Yes. Yeah, the interns are kind of in the midst of learning to practice the medicine, and along at the same time they're taking boards, or towards the end of the year they're taking boards to get their license. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.